Good morning, you guys. So today I'm bringing to you this awesome recipe that I make with leftover rotisserie chickens. And as you can tell, this is so funny, but we ate the breast off this one and the legs off of this one. So there's a lot of meat still left on here. What I like to do is throw these in a crock pot. I'm gonna pour about two cups of water in here. I'm probably going to put a little bit more until this is covered all the way to the top. Okay, so I'm going to add one more jar of this. This might do it. I might have to add a little bit more, but you want the water to obviously completely cover your entire chicken. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of this, better than bouillon. This is so good to have. I recommend buying the big one from Costco. I also have the beef one as well. Um, this is amazing and it's so good. You can have this and not have to have actual chicken stock on hand because you can just add this to water or whatever you want. So I'm gonna also add a couple more ingredients. Um, maybe some thyme. I'm gonna add this is garlic uh, salt with herbs. I also get this from Costco So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Okay, I'm just gonna add a few pinches of this garlic Right on here like that Maybe another pinch. I'm also gonna add fresh garlic. I Just want to add this for the salt Part of it and then I'm gonna add fresh garlic and onions this is gonna boil for about two hours and then I'm gonna add all my vegetables at the very end and then I'll cook that for about 30 minutes and it'll cook all the vegetables I'll take these out and take all the meat off the bone strain the fluid before I add all my vegetables so over here I have some ginger I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh um, or powdered ginger. Um, I actually have fresh ginger that I keep frozen, ginger root in the freezer. I'm also gonna add a little bit of that. This is just for like health purposes and flavor. Ginger is really good for the immune system. So, and then I'm gonna add right here a bay leaf in there. Okay, you guys, I might add two of these. I think I'm gonna add two. Make sure they're in there, okay. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my Better Than Bouillon. So I'm gonna add another half of this to fill the spoon up. For now, you can just let it sit in there until it heats up and you can come back and stir it. The chicken is already, it's the lemon garlic one from the store. So I'm gonna add two of these. There we go. And then I'm also going to add some regular pepper. Another thing that really makes this stand out, you guys, is if you wanted to add an onion soup packet. So if you added just half of one of these bags, this is amazing, gives your stuff so, so, so much flavor. Delicious. But I don't know if I'm gonna add this this time. We'll see. Okay, you guys, if you could smell what this smells like. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna taste the broth and see how the salt level is and all the spices. But I'm gonna take these out. I have this pan set up over here where I'm gonna strip the carcass, take all the bones out and everything like that, get all the good meat off. 
So, and then over here I have the rest of the ingredients I'm gonna add. So this right here is garlic and onions. I only use like three slices, like quarter inch slices of onion and then dice them up. My husband doesn't really like onions, so. Um, then this is ginger, fresh grated ginger, and this right here is turmeric. Turmeric is really good for any kind of pain, like body pains, arthritis, joint pain. Um, and then this is about six stalks of celery and a half a bag of carrots. And then I also add for vitamin C, lemon juice. So I'll be adding lemon juice and then I'll be also using the lemon zest. Um, a lot of people think this is weird, but you actually don't even taste this when it's in there. And then um, I may add some sweet potatoes to mine. I really love sweet potatoes. I know it sounds very strange, but I have some really delicious sweet potatoes right here. So I might add these into there. So we'll see if we end up doing that but this is what i'm gonna add after i strip all the meat off and strain the broth and i'll show you guys how i do that right now So I use this strainer and a bowl to strain out any chunks.
So as you guys can see, this is all the stuff that has come out. I'm gonna put the bay leaves back in, but this is everything that's strained so your broth gets really, really clean. Set that right here, and then I'm gonna pour this back into the pot. I'm going to add the garlic and onions. And now the ginger and turmeric. I'm going to add this. And then I'm gonna add the onion, but I'm gonna, or the lemon. I'm gonna add the lemon, but I'm gonna squeeze it in here first. So I would say this is about two tablespoons of lemon. So I just added my salt and then I'm gonna start adding my vegetables right now before I add the chicken in because I gotta let this cool anyways before I can touch it. But I'm gonna put all my veggies in right now.
little bit more garlic, salt, and herbs. And then I'm just gonna start taking all the meat off this and as I peel it off, I'm just gonna toss it in the pot. So it's pretty cooled down so far. I'm gonna get every little grunion off that is delicious meat. And all the legs and underneath and everything. So let's do it.